Guys, Paul Morrow for RobStest.org. So right now, the rumors are flying hot and heavy that Mayor Eric Adams, mayor of New York City, has indeed been indicted. As of right now, Wednesday night, the indictment has not been unsealed. Rumor is, and it looks corroborated right now, that the indictment will be unsealed tomorrow, Thursday morning, with the mayor actually surrendering next week. But Mayor Eric Adams appears to have been indicted here in New York City. Stay tuned. We're going to be following it. Yes, it is true. New York City's uh, mayor, Adams, was indicted after federal corruption probe. Now, your boy woke up like, huh? What happened? What do you mean? I, I, I don't know, you know, and all of this is coming after Diddy's arrest. So there's speculation on that. Uh, but right here, I'm, I'm, from what I'm reading, it says that uh, the court of allegations involves whether Eric Adams campaign received illegal foreign donations, particularly from sources linked to uh, the Turkish government. This is uh, this includes suspicious uh, suspicions. I'm sorry, around donations funneled through construction companies or other entities possibly acting as straw donors. And there's two other possible reasons as well. But before we get into that, uh, George be his he tweets. I always got to shout out my homie um, posted one of Eric Adams. Adams mayor actions as a New York City mayor was to give Diddy the key to the city, even calling him, quote, the bad boy of entertainment and uh, himself as, quote, the bad boy of politics. Now, Adams and Diddy could be cellmates in the same federal prison. <laughs> he also wrote, I know I'm not supposed to laugh, but come on. I find this to be hilarious, actually. Videos of him playing on the Jumbotron for TSX Broadway and the crowd waited. Then around 1130, the doors opened for the mayor and the artists. The bad boy of entertainment is getting the key to the city from the bad boy of politics. I want to thank y'all for this honor and just recognizing me being from New York, giving me the key to the city. Diddy finally has the key to the city. Today's event coincides with the release of his new album, The Love Album, Off the Grid. They need to drop a deluxe version of that. I didn't know this was gonna turn into a hate album and I definitely need to stay off of the grid. <laughs> For real, we were waiting on that one to drop. Uh, man, let's read a few of these comments. Uh, it says, if ye love wealth better than liberty, if ye love, if ye love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of solitude, uh, then the animating contest of freedom go from us in peace. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chain set lightly upon you and, I'm, and may prosperity forget that ye were our countryman Samuel Adams. Man, what the, the what the why did I just finish reading that whole thing, man? That just pissed me off. All right. Wow. I mean, I just stuttered with the piss. I was really debating in my head whether or not I was going to say it. I'm not going to lie. What an absolute shit show uh, New York is turning into. I'm sorry, but my New York friends, y'all deserve so much better is the sentiment behind here. Now, uh, Mayor Adams has released a statement in response to the news that he's been indicted after a mayor, uh, major federal corruption probe. Let's go and check this out. My fellow New Yorkers. It is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Just this past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner, looking for documents from 20 years ago, just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. If I'm charged, I know I am innocent. I will request an immediate trial so the New Yorkers can hear the truth. New Yorkers know my story. They know where I come from. I have been fighting injustice my entire life. That fight has continued as your mayor. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief, 
I put the people of New York before party and politics. Now, if I am charged, many may say I should resign because I cannot manage the city while fighting the case. I can also understand how everyday New Yorkers will be concerned that I cannot do my job while I face accusation. But I have been facing these lies for months since I began to speak out for all of you and their investigation started. Yet the city has continued to improve. Make no mistake, you elected me to lead this city and lead it, I will. I humbly ask for your prayers and your patience. Now, there's mention of investigations into potential bribery schemes and corruption, which might involve high ranking officials or relatives of officials within Adams administration. This includes scrutiny over interactions with the Turkish government related to a project known as the Turkish House. Uh, now, in terms of general misconduct beyond the campaign finance issues, there's a broader investigation into various potential misconducts, including the seizure of devices from multiple high profile city officials, hinting at a wide net cast by federal investigators looking into corruption, misuse of office or related crimes. Um, and right here at the end, it says the, indict, uh, the indictment marks a significant event aiming at one of the most high profile political figures in the U.S., suggesting a complex web of legal and political challenges for Adams administration. The exact charges or all details of the indictment might not be fully public or detailed in the information provided. But it's clear that um, this investigation is pretty serious, man. And uh, just to read a few comments after the his video under his video it says he literally did the they're not after me. They're after you thing. Uh -huh. uh, somebody else said they wish more politicians would be investigated for corruption. Probably a good bunch of them are engaged in some form of corrupt uh, activity. Uh, somebody says he doesn't have the same money as President Trump. So good luck, Adams. Uh, we will we will finally step down and give New York the stability it needs instead of continuing to be a constant distraction. So that's somebody, I guess, that's in New York uh, speaking from New York now. Whew, this is insane. Uh, obviously, he's been indicted and he spoke out. Uh, but what they're saying is he's been indicted because he spoke out against Kamala Harris open border policy. But get this. The police commissioner also resigned after being probed by the FBI and former head of security at BlackRock uh, took his place. What are the odds? This is the craziest New York City news I've had of yet. Like so much so that I'm not even taking the time to like look not like a trash bag. Dropped off my kids from school. Here's the news. There has now been, as of last night, a total of six resignations in Mayor Adams' administration. Six. If you haven't been paying attention to what's going on because of the whole Diddy thing in New York City, six people resigned. Big people in Mayor Adams' administration. I actually had to make a list because I couldn't remember all of them. Let's go. Last night, the school chancellor, Banks, resigned. Police commissioner, who I talked about a couple of weeks ago, police commissioner Caban, resigned, being investigated by the FBI, so he stepped down. Caban resigned, and the guy who took his place was the former head of security over at BlackRock. Not a big deal. I don't think there's anything wrong with being related to BlackRock. The health commissioner, the San, resigned. Chief counsel, his lawyer, Zornberg, resigned. The fire commissioner, Laura Kavanaugh, the one with the whole thing that she sent home letters to the FDNY threatening them that if they didn't come forward after booing Letitia James, yeah, she stepped down over the summer. I don't know how that wasn't news. The Department of Buildings Commissioner, he resigned in 2022. That doesn't seem like news. But when you find out that he was just indicted on 16 counts of felonies, for bribes and conspiracies. That's a lot of fucking people in one administration to be resigning. Fuck. How is nobody like, how is this not news everywhere? The news wants to talk about Trump potentially banging some porn star. Okay, cool. Let's keep talking about that. I don't know about you, but when you see that many people resigning all within the same time frame, 
could be potential for something being covered up. Nobody does that all at the same fucking time. Impossible. All I can say is, man, it's something really, really happening. And obviously, the public wants to link this to Diddy. They're saying that because Diddy uh, got taken down that uh, so many other career politics, I mean, so many other politicians and high profile people are going to be taken down with them. That's just the speculation that we get now. But outside looking in, all I can say is, sheesh, whoa, the Democrats are definitely uh, changing a party right now. I'm telling you that everybody is jumping ship right now. Uh, but I want y'all to hear shipwrecks take on this before we, you know, start diving into that a little bit more. I definitely want y'all to hear, uh, you know, her investigative uh, findings. Let's check it out. The indictment of New York Mayor Eric Adams might be a little more complex than we know. I'm sure you've all heard by now that last night the New York Mayor Eric Adams had been indicted for crimes that we don't know about yet because they are sealed. According to Fox News, which is the only outlet that I could find that's reporting on it, those are going to be unsealed at some point today, the charges, so we should know what they are exactly. And everybody that is on kind of my side of things is like, yeah, he's a piece of shit, da 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 but hear me out. Hear me out. Wasn't it just like a month maybe two months ago, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, started speaking out about the open border crisis and actively condemning Kamala Harris and Joe Biden for what was going on at the border and the way that it was affecting New York. On at least two different occasions, he got up in the public, right, on the news and was like, listen, y'all are fucking up and we can't do this anymore. He went on to talk about the astronomical numbers of people that are flooding into New York from other countries and how New York is having to have the responsibility to feed them, clothe them, school them, and that New York itself can't handle it. And he's demanding that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden do something about it. And then they raided his house. And not that long ago, they had raided a staffer's house. Now, Eric Adams had come out and he had made an official statement saying that he did nothing wrong and that they're working through it and he's cooperating with law enforcement. But he was vehement in saying that just because I stood up for New York, I knew when I stood up, let me, you know what, let me grab the quote. I always knew that if I stood my ground for New Yorkers, that I would be a target and a target I have become. I have been facing these lies for months, yet the city has continued to improve. Make no mistake, you elected me to lead the city and I will lead it. And this is where I need you to step out of your Democrat versus Republican ideology for just a minute and take a look at what's going on. This isn't two parties that fight against each other. That's lower level shit. This is an establishment versus the people who want to do good by their people. Now, I'm not saying that Eric Adams is one or the other. I don't know enough about it yet. But what I am saying is that I believe in a whole lot of things except coincidences. As soon as he started speaking out against the Biden-Harris administration, he did become a target. And if they can do that to him, just imagine what they can do to him. Mm. All I can say is that's a very interesting summary. Uh, somebody wrote my exact thoughts last night when I learned of this raid. Uh, this is one more example of how the monsters will attempt to exercise their so-called power to quell anyone from using free speech against them. This isn't red versus blue any longer. This is definitely good versus evil. And obviously the left Democrats, they love freedom of speech uh, unless it's against anything that they believe in. Yes, they like freedom of speech that's tailored to their thoughts of course uh but i gotta say well said uh definitely well said right here now um we see what's going on with eric adams uh this is all the updates that i have so far i'm kind of scrolling through everything right now to make sure that i didn't miss nothing let me uh let me type his name in real quick just be on the safe side y'all we gotta oh well no uh, this just popped up. It says many are now leaving the sick party of crime, uh, the Democrats, uh, because we see we starting to see everybody speak out against what's happening with the Democrats and, you know, indictments start to follow. Now, I don't know everything that's going on with uh, Eric Adams uh, specifically. So, you know, I'm not here to make to say he's guilty or innocent. Wait, my hair been like that the whole video, bro. I've been walking around like this the whole video. Dang. 